Wow. Oh. My name is Dale Winkler and I'm with the Schuller Museum of Paleontology at SMU. The plesiosaur uh, discovery was approximately 1971 as far as I can tell from the newspaper reports. There was a construction at the airport for the terminal buildings and a worker discovered some fossils there and the crew from SMU was notified and came out. It was in a drainage ditch across the uh, northern end of the airport and when they discovered the fossil they found a lot of parts but they were trying to remove them quickly uh, because of the construction so they picked up many of the pieces uh, and excavated them quickly and brought them here. After the fossil was brought here the paleontologist Bob Slaughter thought it would make a great display and pitched it as a display specimen. The fossil was originally built and as a display for Braniff Airlines and it was in one of the terminal buildings where you could walk directly up to it and touch it and after Braniff went extinct the airport moved the specimen into the admin building uh, where it remained for many years. So we contacted the airport which was agreeable for us to restore the specimen for study and so we cut it apart basically uh, on site and hauled it out piece by piece uh, and then spent several years restoring the parts for study.